Hello everyone, Tony again here for more Let's Play The Long Dark. So as you can see we've slept for some time. Still got a bit of flicker from outside which I'm assuming based on the colour may actually be the Aurora. My character is super thirsty, so let's get that out of the way first. And after that drinking is done, I have never seen Aurora before, but I definitely want to. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to maneuver around this building in the dark, which I can. Uh, this is not to be missed. I can't, I can't not go and have a peek. Whoa. That's so cool. Oh man. So fun fact, uh, seeing the Aurora in person is on my bucket list. So just bear with me for a moment while I, uh, <laughs> while I take this in. Uh, Wow. All right. We're going to go back inside. We're going to go back to bed. I believe that I will be cured of my hypothermia now. Yes, because uh, we were instructed that we had to remain above freezing for 11 hours and then we slept for 12. So I guess that worked. Oh, lights are flickering. Is that a thing that happens when the Aurora's around? It's uh, displaying my ignorance there. We'll sleep for another two and we'll see if the sun is up. You are not tired enough. I guess we can rest then for two hours. I'm guessing that also means I'm going to get super hungry. And it's still not daytime. Oh, I could eat anything right now. Uh, I could eat anything right now too, but I have to record a Let's Play video. So let's try mm, chocolate. It's a healthy way to start the day. And let's try moldy. Hmm. Let's go with the dog food instead then. Actually, can I cook that? I don't really want to waste stacks. No, I don't want to waste any more wood. So we can just eat it cold. Hopefully not frozen. Uh, that was nowhere near as filling as I'd hoped. Um, energy. Enhance. Good, good, good. Looks like it's sort of coming to dawn here now. If it's bright enough to see inside, which it is, then let's keep uh, having a poke around and finding equipment. So we had a search through the first aid kit, which is empty. We haven't checked the workbench yet. So one of the things that you do in this game is crafting. Oh, whetstone! You thank you. Uh, is a workbench, and you can use that to create some of the more advanced uh, material. None of which I believe I have things for at the moment. Although I should be able to make wound dressings, which I will do just in case. Uh, it would be nice to have one of them. Um, prepared rose hips. Uh, a natural healing tea. I mean, I guess it won't hurt to have one of them as well. And these things don't take an awful lot of time. Um, do we want to make some more tinder plugs? We have plenty of sticks, sure, that will help. And let's get back to investigating. I think we already checked there. Yes, we did. What about over here? We have a, a very crusty looking laptop. Don't think that's going to help us very much. Uh, oh, a can opener. Better than using a knife, I guess. Speaking of a knife, I did pick up a whetstone. Am I able to use that for sharpening things? 
Let's uh, see if we can find it here. There it is. Drop back. Use to sharpen blades. All right, maybe if I go to the blade. Actions. Sharpen. It's always, uh, always a wise choice to have a sharp knife. Tomato soup, yum. Pork and beans, double yum. The jerry can, I imagine that's going to be super heavy and I don't think I need it right now. Chair. I can break it down, I don't really need to break it down, but that will be handy for later if I'm running short of wood. Is there anything under here? A wheel. Can I break these wheels down? I can. But again, I don't need to right now, so... Just trying to consider an efficient use of time. We'll search this filing cabinet. Nothing. Nothing. Third time's the charm. Fourth time's the charm. Hey! A tuke. Let's uh, see if we can put that on our head and if it's going to make things better for us. It is going to make things slightly better for us. Let's pop that there. And that one's better. Look at that. Still pretty short on clothing, though. Just kind of moving around with a bare minimum of, uh, of warm material on us. Maybe there'll be something up here. Maybe I could wear this skull on my head. Cloth, uh, that'll be for repairing. It's not really good, uh, not really useful. Survive the outdoors. I would love to learn how to do that. Come on, let's have some clothes in here, please. Nope. Hey. Good. It all helps. Do we have here anything in the crates? Nope. A note left behind. Interesting. Let's read it. Beansy and I came up this way in the summers when we were knock-kneed, goofy kids. We fished and played with swords made out of sticks, wove leaky baskets from the reeds. You could row across the lake. Those little cabins at the far end where the tourists came and fished, hunted the deer and had their parties. We stood behind the counter and watched Dad welcome them looked at the guest book and read their names. When the summer was nearing its end and the cattails turned to fluff, we blew our wishes to the sky, always to come back. Always. Contributed by backer number 4,675, I guess that means crowdfunding? How nice. Uh, to allow people to contribute. Come on, cupboard. Nope. All right. Uh, I think... That we may have looked at all of the major things in here so given that it's still mid-morning i think our wisest course of action uh, is firstly going to be to drink a little bit of water and we're going to check and make sure that we still have some left and we do have half a liter left uh, we can make more later if we need to so we're going to head back out on the lake. We're going to search some more fishing huts. And we're also going to go and try having a look at the, uh, the cabins that are around on the other side. So let's go and do that. Lovely sort of uh, pinky orange colours at the sunrise. It's always amazing how beautiful everything can look, even if it's going to uh, eventually kill you when it comes to landscapes. So here's some things I don't know about this game, uh, and this is purely due to my own ignorance. I don't know if I can fall through the ice. I don't know if survival mode is completely unsurvivable, as in there is a, is there a way to get rescued? Is there a way to summon help? I, I don't actually know. Am I stuck only on this map or can I move to uh, the other maps that are in the game? I'm pretty sure I remember seeing 
in the map selection which other maps this one connects to. Maybe I can leave Mystery Lake and, and move to another area. Although I do imagine that with the other maps being quote unquote more advanced, they're probably more dangerous, they probably have less resources, they probably have more uh, bears or wolves or bear wolves. Um, some of the huts are destroyed, some of them aren't. We have a jetty out over the frozen water. I'm surprised that ice didn't actually buckle and break all that wood, to be honest. But uh, again, not terribly familiar with cold climates, so maybe I'm full of shit. Anything on the table? Anything other than small stones on the ground? Nope. It's scavenging time. Clothes and food, please. And I mean wood, sure, why not? Always need to burn. Is that a bullet? Um, my apologies. Is that a cartridge? Is what I should have said. Indeed it was. Nothing. Anything in the crate? Nothing. Can I eat this fish? Nom, 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 nom. Nope. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing under the bed. Hmm. Uh, oh, cool. Trash can. Wow. Not a lot, uh, not a lot in this one. That's okay. Maybe the next one. Cross those fingers and toes again. The ominous uh, wolf prowling as the loading icon. Just books. I'll take it. Wow, pinnacle peaches. Absolutely, I will have peaches. Thank you so much. First aid kit on the wall there. We'll hopefully have something good. Newspaper, sure. Antiseptic, handy. Antibiotics, also handy. This is a fancy trunk. It must be full of cloth I love decent light shells let's put that on now plus 0.9 degrees good thank you I guess just these normal books that aren't for training could be used for uh, for kindling But I'm also anticipating, as most books tend to be, that they'll be quite heavy. What is that? Lantern fuel. Thank you. If there's lantern fuel, I guess you can also find lanterns a little bit before midday. I wonder if I can read that book about fishing. Research. Need to do five hours of research, presumably to level up to the next level. Um, and I guess actually fishing would also increase my level. And I think based on where I'm at right now, maybe not the best use of my time to read a book on a thing instead of just trying to do the thing. Let's keep working our way around the lake. Pick up this stick. I have no clue about how to read the weather in uh, in this game, or in, in or in cold climate for that matter. Uh, so I'm maybe doubly in trouble. Say I hate being cold. I hate being cold too. I do. So I think it's an interesting choice to have the character actually uh, voicing things that are happening. Most of it seems to be. Uh, empty, and I can't even pick it up. Ugh. Most of it seems to f be framed around, I mean, clearly things that people would say in this situation, but also, I guess, reminding me of some of the core things that I need to be concerned about, such as <laughs> being really cold, being really hungry, uh, hungry, hungry or thirsty. We can do this. 
All I need is for the game to help me out. Why don't you RNG for me? More peaches. Shoes. Cool. What have we got in here? Nice. Doubly nice. Not a bad haul so far when it comes to medical material, but I could really do with some warm things. Anything over here? Nope. Anything in the crate? Yes. Matches? Matches. Excellent. Must remember to check under the beds as well. Now, if, if I remember, I think the, there's the previous pair of huts we went to. There's this current pair of huts, and I think there's a standalone hut somewhere too. And possibly a couple more fishing huts. We're going to go and check all of them out. But I think the camp office is the place to be when it comes to shelter, simply because it's got uh, stoves and so forth right there inside. Which I don't think any of these have there are there are stoves out in the in the fishing hut so you don't freeze to death while you're trying to ice fish another line but still no hook how do i make uh a hook fishing tackle hook one of one scrap metal i have scrap metal i can make a hook but i need a workbench Okay. Put that on our uh, on our list of things to do as soon as we can. Is get back to the camp office and make a hook. I could probably uh, break down uh, these cloths that I'm finding. I believe with the with the hunting knife to get pieces of cloth that I can use to repair clothing. Yada yada yada. But uh, getting some fish, I think, is the main priority at this stage. Yep. Oh, no. Now, I think that hut there is one that one of the two that we visited. So this will be a new one. That one over there will be a new one. And there's the other hut, which we may want to spend some time inside because it's very cold by the looks of it. Let's make this search quick. Water bottle, which I assume is frozen based on the weather. So I guess part of the reason why we're so cold is because our clothing is drastically inadequate for the weather. Climbing socks, sure. Yeah, let's go for the hut first. Yep, there's the camp office over there. All right, we'll go to this fourth hut, which appears to have a door on it. Frostbite risk. Ugh. I guess I don't have any gloves either. And then we'll head over to that hut, which I guess is going to be warm enough inside that it might help with some of the uh, hypothermia frostbite challenges that we're currently facing. Firewood. Excellent. Condensed milk, mmm, yum. Take all the things that can burn. Work gloves, let's put them on immediately, seeing as we're having challenges with our hands. Good. Is there anything I've picked up that I have that I don't realise I have? Slightly better. Double socks, excellent. Yes to the matches. So really at this stage I'm guessing that the only reason that I'm not going to take something is going to be because I I become over encumbered. Uh, and I, I assume at some point you reach a stage where you really have to start uh, making trade-offs as to what am I taking, what am I leaving behind, how much do I carry with me when I'm trying to move to a new area. Uh, all the common sense things, I guess, but uh, but as I said, my current knowledge of the game, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing that or not, but uh, let's take things one little step at a time. So there are definitely beds that I could sleep on in these areas if I got stuck out in bad weather or something. Um, 
finding it a little disorienting that so many of these things have very identical layouts uh, on their internals. Which I guess could be potentially confusing if you temporarily forget where you are. But I mean, I guess all of these things are built. So there's a little white icon in the lower right corner, so I guess that means I'm carrying more than I can carry easily. I do like that the game hasn't just stopped me uh, dead, though. Tinder. As in the uh, the thing that you burn, not the thing that you swipe right. Uh, yeah. Bet nobody's made that joke before. All oh, the backpacks are empty. What's going on? So I'm warming up a little bit, but not much. It's still not even midday yet. So here's the plan. We're going to go back to the uh, camp office. We're going to make ourselves a fishing hook. We're going to use that fishing hook with some tackle that I believe we already have to make some fishing line, and we're going to bring it back out to a fishing hut. We're going to catch some fish. So again, some assumptions. I'm assuming that I'm going to need firewood with me so that I can keep the, uh, the fishing hut warm. Because they don't look naturally very warm. What is that? What is that? That does not look like a deer. That looks like it could be a wolf. Mm, I think it is a wolf. I'll do you a deal. You stay over there. And I'll stay over here. Wolves also hunt in packs. Are there more of them? Ooh, a gap in the rocks. Maybe they're going to check and see if there's any fish in the fishing hole. Oh, it's frozen over. That doesn't make sense. So now I'm nervous because, yeah, I don't know whether the game has wolves solo or hunting together. Maybe that changes based on difficulty level. I guess uh, from a player perspective, I'm already wrangling with a, a considerable number of things that could kill me. But uh, perhaps that means that having wolves hunt in packs would be a little bit too harsh. I don't know. Maybe that only happens on super duper advanced mode. How do I unequip a rock? Can I? Maybe if I... Okay, reselecting it. Sure. Now another wolf jumps out and kills me. Ha <laughs> ha. Can I harvest those? I can. What do I get from them? Sticks and heads. What? What's the difference? What do I use them for? Guess for burning. All right. Objective: make a fishing hook at the workbench. Is that wolf still going to be there, though? Am I going to get all the way out there trying to trying to catch some fish and then get mauled by a wolf? Hook, line, <laughs> sinker, no. Anything else I can make that I need? A torch, that might be handy. Lamp oil, cloth, stick. Sure. It's better to have a torch and not need it than to need a torch and not have it. Can't make any of those... All right, we're good. Um, tired, not warm, very hungry. That's going to be the easiest thing to eat. Stale. Let's try the energy bar. And let's try the stale granola bar.
drop decoy. I guess I don't have any of them right now. Let's equip the rock just in case. Um, so seeing as we're just about to leave the building uh, and having a look at my recording clock here, that might do it for this part of the Let's Play. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. If you're interested in checking out the podcast that I'm a part of, uh, it's called the First 10 Minutes Podcast. You can find the detail in the description below or you can go to our website at www.thefirst10minutes.com. We're also on Twitter as The First 10 Minutes. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, I'm also on Twitter at Kalinskald, that's K-A-L-I-N-S-K-A-L-D. And I also do a series of game developer interviews as another podcast called Downloadable Context, which you can find at downloadablecontext.com or on Twitter at DL Context. So once again, dear viewer, thank you very much for watching uh, and please come back soon for another part of Let's Play The Long Dark.